morning or good afternoon everyone it's Kim Karen with Karen Gallery we are going live today to um, interview Lauren Dunn so she'll um, get a notification soon that we've gone live and then we will start chatting okay here we go hey Lauren I think you just maybe need oh, there we are connecting oh that was fast yay I did it yeah, it was good it was good yeah. was, yeah, my how seat. are you I'm good. good. How are you doing today? I'm good. I yeah, gotta scoot good. back away from this camera. <laughs> I know. It's, that's why I've been I've been messing with it. Um, I had the iPad. I've been messing with it for about thirty minutes to kind of get my. I thought <laughs> right. I had it in, and then once you clicked in, it, I was way up here, so I didn't bring my seat back down. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, um, everybody, just in case you didn't know, this is Lauren Dunn, and she's originally from the Mississippi Delta, and um, she's now living in Nashville, and she has a great following on social media and some of the great um, festivals that they have in Nashville and Birmingham, and I'm trying to think where else you go for festivals. Uh, Oxford. Um, I've kind of cut back. Mainly Nashville area, Oxford. Um, Nashville has some great shows around here so a yeah. lot here uh birmingham yeah um yeah but that's mainly it yeah well good so just just to let you know i know like for me when i'm looking at you you're a little um out of focus but it will when i load it onto youtube it, your feed is good and my feed is good and between the two of us it, it's okay. good i don't know if All I'm right. no not. you are clear to me okay all right well um Let's get started with the questions. And um, let me remember, I always get it mixed up. You are the town that you're from, you're Leland, Leland, Mississippi, yes. right? Grew right. up in Leland. Yeah. Um, so right tell us, of Greenville. oh, I'm sorry. So tell us something about your, um, your journey to becoming an artist, your schooling, your mentors, and that kind of thing. Because I think you've got a great, great story. Yeah. So, uh, I pretty much was born loving art, loving creating, um, always interested in painting, drawing all throughout um, school. I think in, I think I was in eighth grade when my mom started me um, in private art lessons. And I took from those of you familiar with Bobby Tompkins, if you're in yeah. Mississippi, he was a great realist or is a great realist painter, um, took from him through from eighth grade through 12th grade learned so much about realism and um, lights and darks and shadows and um, uh, just those kind of basics that I think are important to build on. Um, had a great fun art teacher in high school, which I loved um, Cindy Parker and then um, pretty much knew I never really kind of considered any other career other than art, although at that time, I felt like I couldn't really make money just here, starving artist. Um, so I was a little nervous to just major in painting or something like that. So I um, went to Delta State and majored in graphic design and minored in painting because I thought if I have a graphic design major, I can actually go into a physical business and have a job and work and make money <laughs> that way. So, so uh, yeah, I wound up at Delta State. Um, Obviously went there for four years and then um, went back to my high school, Washington School, after I graduated and um, taught art. And then okay. I taught art for seven years um, until I had my boys. Yeah. Well, I so, remember you comment that um, you taught art at a school in Jackson. And yes, Jackson Academy. Yeah, and Kristen was one of your, your students. Yes, and yes, I love her. That was so funny because I've been following her on social media for a while and we've met right. finally, uh, back last month, well, in February, right before all the um, shelter in place kind of happened. And um, right. it's funny, you know, it just kind of ages, ages us a little bit when you, you're like, wait, I wasn't much older <laughs> than her when I taught her. <laughs> I, know, but I know, and she's done so awesome and it's so fun to watch her. And then um, there's a few other students that I taught just watching their art careers and just being friends with them on social media and keeping up. It's really, really fun to see. Yeah. <laughs> but it seems like an eternity ago. Yeah. Taught. <laughs> Once you have children, everything just kind of 
goes in a, t a different, whole different way. It's, oh, yeah. it's very, very different. Yeah. Tell us about um, your painting. I know, um, you know, my, I, of course, I've lost my, my questions again, so I'm going to try to remember what I asked. Um, about how you, um, you paint with acrylic. And, paint with acrylic. Yeah, I think people are very familiar with your, um, your style and the imagery you have, but I want you to kind of tell the backstory to some of that and explain a little bit how you prep your canvas or your wood right. panels so people can yes. understand the texture that you get with the acrylics. Right. So um, I do, I love to paint on wood. It's kind of a smoother surface. It doesn't give because I've, um, a, like Kim said, I use a palette knife. Um, so I like that it's a stiff surface. When I use the palette knife, it doesn't give, doesn't have tooth like a canvas would have. And I prep it with um, modeling paste in the beginning to put down a texture um, because I love to layer my colors of acrylic and pretty much I'll allow one layer to dry before putting another layer on top. And that modeling paste that I put on in the beginning kind of will catch where there's ridges and stuff. It'll catch that palette knife and allow bottom layers to show through and allow kind of the colors to play off of each other. Um, I'm big into color and love, love, love color. And um, just seeing how I don't really start off with color palettes in mind. It kind of just evolves, but I love to see how each layer kind of plays off the other one. Yeah. And so exactly. tell us a little more about your imagery because obviously I think your hydrangeas are the most famous. Right. And of course we've got this, let me see if I can scoot out of the way, this precious piece right here. Yeah. Yes. And um, I, th I think it's called, I love the title, it's called, um, I'm sorry. I can't, rem I can't remember. Oh, Together Step by Step. And yeah. I just I just love that. I love that title. Yeah. I have some really, really good titles, and uh, thanks. I, um, need to um, see what kind of title you come up with each time. Yeah. The, the hydrangeas and stuff. So tell us a little bit more about that, because I do. I remember the story you, you told about the hydrangeas, but tell us a, or other people that are listening about that. Okay, so I love uh, I love anything southern, pretty much. I'm a southern girl at heart. Um, I love those memories. Um, I know growing up on the side of my mom's house, there was just a row of probably eight to 10 hydrangeas. Um, they were gorgeous. Uh, but it's just such a Southern flower. Love, love painting those and capturing those. I love really any, um, any florals for the most part, but hydrangeas are my favorite. And then um, Southern memories, like, like nothing evokes happy feelings, like memories of childhood for me. Um, Growing up, going, my grandfather was a minister um, in a little small church right outside of Greenwood in a little country church um, in Teoc, Mississippi, just a little bitty A-frame church. Um, so that has special meaning to me, going there. We would go there like once a month. Um, and I, think some the, I think some of the churches that you've painted, I don't think there's one, there's a barn in that one, but I think a lot of the, you know, the the typical church that you paint is that, you know, one room kind of yeah. a frame. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Loosely yeah. based on that one. Yeah. 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 You know, it's just, um, and that's what I try to explain to, um, to customers when they come into the gallery about these memory triggers is that they'll, they'll fall in love with something and it's not because of a color or it's going to match this, that, or with the other. They're just like, that. right reminds me of my grandmother's garden or right. my father's barn or whatever. And that's the things that people are most drawn to is those memory triggers. And it's right. fun. To see. Yeah. It's fun to see an artist um, create something of their own memories and a collector respond in the same way. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's one of my favorite things. I love it. Love yeah. It. Really, yeah. Really good. Well, uh, my next question is, uh, now that, that your boys are getting a little busier, how yes. do you handle the distractions of your family? You've got two Ooh. boys. Got a That's husband. a tough one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> two boys, uh, 14 and 12. Um, and now they're to the age where I'm more kind of carpool, like 
take oh. taxi service. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, but they're so, you know, independent now that it's quite helpful. Um, so when we had school, they, I would work <laughs> pretty much in those hours and, um, and then some, once they got home and I got them kind of settled because I'm, I tend to do most of my best work between the hours of 11 and seven ish. That's just kind of my normal, my internal clock. So right. I'll usually get up and kind of do social media emails in the morning, then get to painting around 11, go until I pick them up from school, which is at three, um, come home, get them settled and then usually go back and paint until dinner, um, which has seemed to be a good balance. Um, but so it's how, hard. How is the house at home doing school at home? How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, honestly, I, I mean, I know it's a terrible situation that may, breaks my heart for all the people that are struggling. It's just, um, kind of one of those things trying to figure out how to process it all um for me it feels normal other than my kids being here because I'm always here anyway so I'm always home working um but to have them here and try to work has been a little challenging so I have um found that if I work on smaller paper pieces I can focus better on that on short burst um rather than doing big, larger paintings. It's just easier with them here. Um, and luckily for me, my schedule, since shows have kind of canceled or been moved, it allowed kind of the freedom to, you know, kind of do more of what I want than, than what uh, has to be done That's, at the moment. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, do you, I know, I have to be honest, you sent me your studio tour. And yeah. I'm going to watch through it um, before I post it later today. But you had a little teaser about some, um, maybe on social media, about some little paper pieces that you've done. So right. are you going to be um, mailing me any paper pieces? I know, I will. I'll, you want some? Yes, I would. I'll, I'll get you some. <laughs> Definitely. Because yeah, I just bet you all I can handle at the moment. <laughs> well, and that's okay. That's what, you know, I, I, almost every conversation I've had, with um, the artists over the last three weeks is, you know, you're adapting and um, new things are being created in a different way. And, right. um, you know, there are, we're trying to have more, um, I'm trying to get more pieces in the gallery that are a little more attainable for people yeah. if, if they're kind of, you know, on a budget and kind of had to pull back a little bit during this time. And, um, right. And that kind of thing. So hopefully you'll send me some of those. I'll, paper I'll send you some of those. I yeah. love paper pieces for that reason. They're so easy to mm -hmm. pop in a pre-made frame and um, just a, a much better price point. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you some. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So let's see. Um, what is my other question? Okay. So you kind of answered this, but okay. tell us about, you know, choosing to be an artist instead uh -huh. of doing something else, are there times where you become frustrated? You're like, well, maybe I should just go do something else. Maybe I should go, go back to teaching or go do whatever. Do you have, have that pull on you sometimes? Or you're like, I am where God has put me. I am definitely where God has put me. I would say the only times I feel frustration is when I allow myself to kind of burn out and I can feel it coming and I know I'll need a refresher, but, um, I'd say for me as an artist, that would be the biggest struggle is just um, finding creativity and finding time to allow yourself to kind of uh, do what comes from your heart as opposed to what just needs to be done and having that freedom to do that so you don't burn out because I think that's important. Um, but as far as a different career, no, I, I think. This is my passion. I know yeah. um, when I remember when I was in college, um, Marianne Ross was my um, teacher. And I can't, because there was one point when I was really struggling with, okay, can I actually be an artist and make money? And I was convinced I couldn't. So I switched my major for one day 
to biology. <laughs> so I was going to be a physical therapist. And she sat down with me and she was like, if you can see yourself not making art each day, then by all means switch. But if you're someone where you just have a need and a desire to create, then you need to go in art. And I think she was basically saying, you know, find your passion, the rest yeah. will fall into place. And I yeah. wholeheartedly believe that. So yeah. no, I think I'm right where I need to be. Good, good. You know, one thing I just thought about that you, um, that you do, and I don't know if you still do, is uh -huh. you, I know that your uh, Nathan helps you a lot with that. Yeah. And you, another guy that was helping with that. Are you still doing that? Are you going to continue down that road or is that something? Oh, that's a great question. We, uh, I go through every year, like, am I going to give up? Oh, sorry. My dogs are going to bark. Uh, I'm always thinking, am I going to give up frames? Um, but I've pretty much, can you hear me with them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Um, we've, I've pretty much decided that I do it at a certain time of year, which is basically before Christmas at two shows. Um, and that just seems to work for us right now. I'll put in a couple of good hard months work, um, focusing on that. Um, and then throughout the year, I'll kind of do, um, custom or, you know, t orders when they come in custom. But other than that, I don't really, I have a couple of stores that I keep stocked with those, but that's, I've tried to keep that as um, manageable as possible. Yeah, that's a, it's pretty labor intensive, so I'm sure. It is, and I'm so thankful um, for Nathan and my dad. My dad comes and helps, um, so they're awesome. Yes, yeah, so you have to give a, uh, a shout out to Nathan, because he did your yeah. video. And will he be singing on the video? <laughs> he would probably like to, singing or telling jokes. <laughs> yes, he, he texted me. He said, we're doing our video. Tell her it's okay that I sing shallows. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was good. <laughs> he is a mess. He is a mess. He's a mess. Yeah. But I tell you, he he is definitely your partner when you get a festival. He, he he's got it. He's got it down to a system. Y'all unload, set up, sell. No, no, no. Just it's really um, it's, it's really yeah. nice no, no, no. to get um, no. um, <laughs> that you Sorry. get from your spouse that's good that's good. yeah he's a huge support so i'm thankful for him okay so i'm going to go through and see if anybody's um posted okay. any questions. if they want any if y'all want to do any questions you're going to need to um send them right now before we get back oh. through here oh. shout out the comments that were made um, hey. Hey. No, no. hey i've got five dogs at my house so it's okay <sighs> Oh, uh, Kara Thrugel said, love your paintings. Um, she said, yeah, all right. Okay. So she must have gone to Jackson Academy, too. <laughs> oh, who uh, was it? Carol Threadgill. She's got uh, oh. one or two of your paintings, I think. Okay. Oh, awesome. Uh, you may have met her at, or Courtney, Courtney Tr Tyree said hello. Oh, hey, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney just got a great tree painting. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting the dogs a treat. This is no, what I did. I grab them for bad behavior. Yeah, yeah, rewarded them for bad behavior. Yeah. Mama, Raz, I don't know, Raz, uh, Raz oh my gosh. They, she said a, a face with heart, hard eyes. Okay. Hey. I'm, you know, sometimes it's hard to understand people's um, Instagram names. I know. Worst. Um, let's see. Another person sent hard eyes and send hard eyes and okay here's a question hey lauren do you use heavy body acrylic paint I love, love, love your work tell nathan hello uh mainly it it well some of it's heavy body um some of it i love um the thinner uh what's it called the golden um um they're kind of translucent i love those a lot of times in the base of paintings um i'm not really loyal to one particular um they're saying yeah um is there a story behind the sunflowers uh no not really a particular story other than just my love of florals um and color and i just love um florals for some reason allow me so much uh i can put so many colors in there um so no not really a story but just love of flowers 
And then someone was asking what size paper pieces. Um, gosh, I've done small, most, mainly small. They're usually eight by 10, 11 by 14. Um, I'll, I also like more rectangular. So I think I've done, I don't even remember what they were like eight by 12 or something like that. Um, and then I've done, I've done larger too. In fact, like I'll show you this one in my dining room. Well, can I switch this around or I'll mess it up? Yeah. You just hit the little switch. Okay. There you go. So this one is a bigger paper piece, um, with the deckled edges and it's like a 20 by 30. Um, so yeah, well, I'll do full sheet. All yeah. Sizes. Yeah. Cause I saw the ones on Instagram. They looked like they were about this big. They were, they were really small. Big. They were probably three by fives. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Someone else said something. Here we go. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Lisa Lane Ray Hayes. She, she said, hello. And she said, your work is all through her house. And I lo love it. How are you? <laughs> Um, little studio, little, 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 Emily. little, Hey, Emily. She said, Hey, are you using heavy body acrylic on paper? What medium are you using? Yes. Heavy hey. body or just regular, um, acrylics. And then a lot of oil pastels of, um, ink and watercolor. Okay. Emily's my travel partner. She's an <laughs> artist here in Nashville. Oh, okay. That's fun. Ah. She's awesome. All right. So I messed that up. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see. I think um, I think that's everything. Is there anything else you wanted to um, to share with us? Um, I don't think so. But I think you're doing awesome. I love these interviews you've done. Oh my I gosh. love it. I, okay, so this is the third week, third full week. Is it? I, I have this wonderful light set. Yeah. Today's the first day I set it up. <laughs> <laughs> On the forehead, but at least you can see me. Yes. Right. Days I'm like, oh my gosh, you could. I'm like a, this dark blob in the, in the, um, in the camera. It looked terrible. Well, it's so, no, it looks good. You've done well, awesome with it. Well, Everybody, Kim is an awesome gallery owner. So <laughs> you need to check out her website. She offers free shipping, and she is yes. just an amazing person to work with. I'm thankful for you. You're so sweet. I, I just, I love it. You know, we have. Um, we have not been crazy busy, but I have um, had like an order online about every day. So Good. I just out like at the end. Of the, so I took a bunch of stuff last night and today um, for shipping. So uh, we're trying to get them out as fast as I can. I just don't want to go to UPS or USPS. Right, right. You know, like minimal amount. But the UPS guy came yesterday because I was here all day. And, um, so that was that was nice. So we'll ship them out once a week and um our one of the framing companies is working one of them's not so we're trying to get some frame frames ordered from the mm -hmm. ones that are so we can get some things out too so um so anyway it's been you know we just adapt just like anything else and right take it one day at a time and maybe have too much wine at the end of the day <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> right <laughs> it's two shall pass i hope exactly yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much with your time for your time. Thank um, you. For, I'll um, save it to um, to live stories for the rest of the, for twenty four hours. Okay.